Since you've clicked on this video, not only have I been able to tie a clove hitch, but I've also been able to use it to hoist up my water bottle. The most common way to make a clove hitch, if you want to wrap it around something, is to make two loops, spread them apart, and then cross them back around each other. After that, you just drop it on whatever you want to wrap it around, tighten, and it should be fastened. Now if you want to tie it around something and you can't just wrap it over, what you're going to want to do is bring the working end of the rope over, make a little hitch, and then cross it all the way back to where you have this nice big X, and then loop it through. To demonstrate how secure this can be, I've got a 50 pound kettlebell right here that I am tying a clove hitch into with this rope and I'm going to use the running end and boom, as you can see, pretty secure. Now I love the clove hitch because if you just went weightlifting and have some ratty old converse or maybe you just went rock climbing outside and now you've got these super smelly shoes and you don't want to put them inside of your bag, even if you have like a cheaper bag, they normally have some little synthetic cord like this. And a really easy thing you could do is pull this out and make one, two loops, get them apart, bring them together, and now you've got your clove hitch, and you can take these shoes or something else that's light and you don't want in your bag, and boom, you don't have to worry about putting it into any compartment and smelling up your stuff. That's it for this video. I hope this shows you what not to do.